In basketball, there will always be debates on who the greatest players are. From fans and media personalities to former players, everyone seems to voice their opinion on the matter. Take 76ers legend Allen Iverson, for example. We're talking about practice. Like many who watch the NBA, Iverson is in agreement that Michael Jordan is the greatest player to ever step foot on the hardwood. However, unlike the majority who claim that LeBron James is up there with Jordan in the GOAT debate, Iverson has a different name in mind who he thinks is next to MJ, the late, great Kobe Bryant. I say Mike and I say Kobe. While some might agree with AI, ESPN Stephen A. Smith fired back at Iverson's claim regarding Kobe. But Kobe Bryant is not the second greatest player in NBA history. That's just not true. It's just not. It's just not. Which led to Shaq confronting Stephen A on why Kobe should be included on the GOAT discussion. But I have a problem with, you, you know, what you said. In this video, we're going to see why AI thinks Kobe is the second greatest player of all time. And then we hear Stephen A. Smith tell us why Kobe is not in the GOAT debate. And then we finish off with Shaq confronting Stephen A. Smith on why Kobe should be included in the GOAT debate. So if you end up liking this video, please hit the like button. This really helps this video out. And if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe for more of my videos. Okay, let's jump straight into the clip of Allen Iverson calling Kobe Bryant the second best player of all time behind MJ. With Kobe, he was so different to where it was like, Phil, I want the assignment. You know what I mean? Take Fisher off him, I want the assignment. I've never seen nobody as competitive like him, but Mike, that's it. Like when people talk about, you know, your favorite players and, and the, oh, the best players in the world, you know, I say Mike and I say Kobe. You know what I mean? And then everybody else. From Iverson's point of view, this seems understandable. Kobe Bryant was a competitive beast. But that isn't enough for Stephen A. Let's check out his fiery response. And then Shaq calling out Stephen A on his comments. Well, Kobe Bryant is not the second greatest player in NBA history. That's just not true. It's just not. It's just not. And the points per game didn't equal LeBron's. The assists didn't equal LeBron's. The rebounds didn't equal LeBron's. The durability didn't equal LeBron's. Um, he's got more rings. But we can't ignore the fact that the first three came with Shaq in his prime. Meaning the most dominant force of our era. And next to Wilt Chamberlain, one of the top two most dominant figures in the history of basketball. That dude. The 7-1, 350-pound diesel. Okay? The big Aristotle. That dude. All of that. That dude. Shaq. Three of Kobe's rings came with Shaq. Now, Shaq didn't win without him. Shaq didn't win with, Kobe, uh, with Penny Hardaway. And Nick Anderson and Dennis Scott, those brothers. He didn't win the title, title with them. He didn't win when he initially arrived in L.A. and it was Eddie Jones and those brothers. It took Kobe. I get it. I get it. And Kobe, on a mission to prove his worth, Wanting Shaq gone and wanting the reins handed over to him by the late, great Dr. Jerry Buss. Took the bull by the horn. Was given a garbage team. Led the league in scoring. Ultimately won a league MVP award. And oh, by the way, in the process of doing all of that, went to three consecutive NBA finals and went back-to-back -back titles in 09 and 10. Beating Orlando with Dwight Howard and then ultimately Boston. With KG, Ray Allen, Perk, Rondo, Paul Pierce. The truth shall make you free. Not set you free, make you free. That's the truth. I know who Kobe is. I know who Kobe was. I know what Kobe meant, meant, meant and will forever mean to the game of basketball. And top 10 all time, no doubt about it. But he ain't top two. Come on, y'all. But I have a problem with, you know, what you said. Like, my thing is, doesn't matter who the GOAT is, my, my guy should be in the conversation. Yes. Don't just, don't just, no, but hold on. So 
what Rashad was saying is like, you guys just throw them out of the conversation. Like, you know, sometimes you have to listen to what people are saying. Like right now, and listen, you know, I love all, all those guys. And I'm actually jealous that my name is not in the conversation more, but that's neither here nor there. So somehow it just went from Mike to LeBron and you just threw my guy out of the conversation. His name needs to be in there all the time. Mm-hmm. And, when, and when his name is not in there, that's when people have a problem. I, I, and, please, and, I appreciate the correction. I look at Kobe. There is nothing on earth to question the greatness of Kobe Bryant, who to me is one of the greatest of all time. But it did help for those first three rings that he had you in your prime to some degree. That's not the point. The point everybody is making is don't leave him out the conversation. I'm not leaving him out the conversation. You are. You, you always say, How? oh, the, you always say GOAT, the GOAT is LeBron or Mike. No, I never I, said it's LeBron. It's always okay, Mike. Okay. It's always okay, Mike for okay. me. Well, I say him, listen, number yeah, two I, is you, LeBron. You, you're right. Okay. You're right, but you're right. But I always hear Mike. And LeBron, and I used to hear Mike and Kobe, and now it's Mike and LeBron. My right. thing is, it has to be those three guys. And if you want to get technical, Dr. J needs to be in there too. No. Because he started all this. No. Ain't no no. No, Ain't no, it no. Is Dr. no. I love Dr. Dr. J, J, but it's no. Hey, hey, hey. Dr. J started all this. Okay. <laughs> he started, but that don't make him the GOAT, though. And Magic. Yes, so, like, I, had, have... I had Magic okay. up in there too. I said, but that don't make him the GOAT. I got Magic right. as the greatest point guard of all time. Listen. It doesn't matter, or it doesn't matter who you or I think the goat is. Okay. Certain people can be in a conversation. Certain people can't. Okay. And I just think, and I, and I just think, before y'all say one and two, you can't leave my guy out. So I can kind of understand why Rashad was getting upset, yeah. especially with Kobe not being here. You know, it just makes it. Like, and, you, and, and and you know, like I kind of heard with his point it was like you just kind of throw him away. And you know, we would never do that. And I know you would never do that. I would never I know do you that. And Kobe had a great relationship, yeah. but. His name needs to be in that conversation when you talk about the greatest of all time. Even though the respect for Kobe is tremendous, most people don't have Kobe Bryant in the GOAT discussion. Except for AI and Shaq, the number is usually in the next tier or two below. And that's the message that Stephen A was trying to convey. Where do you have Kobe on your all-time list? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, that wraps up for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, that really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. The truth shall make you free. Not set you free, make you free. That's truth.